season 2013 to restart it, mate. What are we gonna do? Man, I don't know what we're gonna do, but I can't believe we got another gig I on this show. I know. I thought no one liked it, mate. We're not that funny. We're awful. Let's just get this started, oh. man. Wowzers! We are back. Yeah, we're back. Official. Giants fans, 2013 celebrations, bubbles and everything. We've got kids, we've got everything. G1 and G3, we're going again. How exciting, Cox. I'm wrapped, mate. I'll tell you what, I've already bought my bubbles for this TV show. It's exciting to be back, Philip. Just wait till the confetti comes. Look, a big confetti. Oh, no, nah, we're not that big yet. Just give us some time. Give us some time. <laughs> Phil. Phil, what a year we had last year, man. But I think, um, you know, this year, especially, we need to take it to a new level. You know, we had some good ratings, but, you know, this is constructive criticism. You need to step up, and I need to step up. That's fair, that's fair. You know, I thought we started from a really low level. Base, base camp, zero. Yep. Um, but, you know, I thought we improved. A few people liked our show, but I agree, mate. Cogs, I think it's time. First interview for a new year. Let's go. <laughs> Giants fans, exclusive guest for the new season of G1 and G3. We've got Jordan Close here. Jordan, how are you, mate? Good. Tell the uh, fans a bit about yourself. Uh, where did you grow up? Um, Canberra. Yeah, but, uh, we're obviously out in Gungahlin at Bergman um, College for school. Uh, how far away did you live? How far do you live from here? Well, I was born in here, but uh, my country is in Macedonia and Europe. Beautiful, beautiful. Obviously, you're a big fan of the Giants. Is that true? Yep. Uh, who's your who, Who's your favourite player? Or do you not have just have one? Uh, Phil Davis and Stephen Kinnickley. Perfect. Philip, since we're uh, back in this series, it's our first episode. Why don't we get the number ones of the club out? You know, um, the big timers. And I know you went number one, but let's go to the number one draft picks. And today we've got the number one draft in the rookie draft last year Samuel Frost thanks for coming on the show yeah thanks for having me any uh, other comments you'd like to make besides that mate you've been uh, pretty quiet lately a bit nervous uh, yeah not, not much to say about it really if uh, if it, who, who do you think is going to be the uh, best performers on the track this year in pre-season out of the out of the whole team Phil Davis and Stephen Kniklia Sam the point of G1 and G3 is for the fans at home interact with their players and you're one of their players you know you're a number one draft pick you're one of them you know you got your patterns you got your Whitfields you got your Scullies and then there's Frost. Um, Frosty what's one thing that the average punter out there wouldn't know about you? Um, I actually wanted to be a professional volleyballer. Uh, who do you think will uh, take out the best and fairest next year if you had to make a prediction? Phil Davis or Stephen Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> the number one uh, draft picks we spoke about before, Whitfield, Scully and uh, Patton, out of all three of them, who would you at least want to live with and why? Uh, Whitfield, because he's new and I don't trust him yet. <laughs> <laughs> Which players do you think have really looked as though they're a lot fitter and stronger than they were last year? Third A was said, Stephen Coniglio. <laughs> I said, oh, what do you want me to say? In your introduction, you said, I don't really need one, but I'm going to say, anyway, here's Johnny. Johnny Patton, thanks for being on the show. I think it's your second or third appearance. What's changed in a year, mate? You're the number one pick 12 months ago. What's changed? Oh, you know, we got a, we got a new number one, which is good. As he says, uh, sheriff in town. Sheriff in town. Four matches if you want to include the NAB Cup uh, next year in Canberra. Will you be at them games? Yep. Who are the oh, players or player? player that you're most uh, going to look forward to watching in camera? I got two. You got two? two. Who, are the, who are the two? Phil Davis and Stephen Kadiglia. <laughs> Speaking of the, of, of the new number one, obviously, you know, you're less important now around the club. Is it true on uh, Lockie Whitfield's first day he came up to you and said, I want number 12? That is 100% true. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not true. Do you ever love somewhere, Johnny? Melbourne, Sydney, anywhere, or are you still single? You know, I'm still single, but, uh, you know, I do have a love somewhere, but, um, you know, that's that's between us. <laughs> Did you go away at all? Who'd you go away with? Are they good blokes? Uh, yeah, one way, three other, three other boys, uh, two of them are good blokes, Toby Green, Dom Tyson, and uh, and yourself. Actually, you came away, and uh, Sheets made Hi an guys. appearance in time. How you doing? Made an appearance at the uh, Green Mango with us. <laughs> three amigos. <laughs> Big Sheets on the dance floor, so that was good. <laughs> so you got Whitfield, Scully, 
Frost and yourself. Just for the fans out there, if there was a maths test, all right, just a basic year 10 maths test. Can you rank the top four for them? So you can put yourself at number one if you want to. So who would finish first and who'd finish last out of those four? I'm not sure how Lockie is. Is Frosty Back. smart? Just have a go, mate. Uh, I'd say I'd say Frosty one, Wesley boy. And then I'd say... <laughs> and then I'd say Super probably smart. Scully two. Yeah. And I would give me three and Lockie, I reckon yeah, four. Nice Lockie, yeah. uh... Yeah, he's a beach boy, so he doesn't know. Yeah, he's wearing chuggy, so I don't even think he even fit him. They're like up to about his shin, mate. Yeah. What's going on there? No, he's, he's Danny boy, you know, mate, from the morning to peninsula. So they don't know too much out there apart from surfing and um, playing footy. Jordan, thank you very much for joining us. Any parting words you want to have to the Giants fans? You know, like, sign up, be a member. Um, thank you for letting me on this show. You're a legend, Jordan. We'll see you later on, mate. You know, what are your goals out there for the fans on and off field for 2013, mate? Well, on field is just to um, just to play as many games as I can. You're really right up in my grill, Phil. Um, no, I like to get in your face, bro. <laughs> uh, just play as many games as I can, I yeah. guess, and uh, try and kick a few goals and help, help How many the team goals? out. 100? Uh, 100, 120. 120? Try and set a record this year. That's good. Yep, and um, and also off the field, we yeah. just try and, um, try and find myself a wife. Yeah. And, um, and maybe something else. Good on you. Thanks, Johnny. Stefan Conagoa, uh, first episode of 2013 is complete. Um, you know, I thought it went all right. How do you think it went? Look, as I said before in the intro, I'm just surprised we got another gig, so I'm yeah. just happy that it's done. Oh, yeah, I think you know when you know it's like anything in life. If you get if someone gives you another opportunity to do something, you, you're grateful and a little bit surprised. But you know, luckily we're not making the decisions, so. Uh, Okay then. Um, anyway, so just for those uh, Giants fans out there, yep. we, uh, what, we want, what do we want them to do, Stephen, to make this show bigger and better this year? All right, number one, I reckon Twitter. Yeah. Um, um, tweet at? through tweet at GWS Giants. Yeah, get on that. Uh, at Phil's Twitter or at my Twitter. Yep. Uh, number two, Phil. Number two would be Facebook the club. Um, if any questions you have, you know, we're always keen for new ideas and what you want to know because this is your show, fans. This is your show. We just, we're just the uh, the medium to get to close to the players. Yeah, and number three, Stephen. Number three is don't tweet Johnny Patton. He's too dumb to have Twitter, and he ranked himself third in that math quiz. He would have been fourth. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, until episode two, Giants fans, go Giants. Go team. <laughs> Happy that.